Okay, welcome back, guys. So I've go, gone ahead and blended up my egg mixture, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it over a micro grater, being that I have no strainer. And you might be saying, wow, Jacob, your stuff is all filthy. Do you just live in squalor? Uh, maybe, but not in this instance. Uh, this is because I already botched an omelet, and maybe I'll leave a take of that, but I, I really felt like I was on to something, and the heartbreak was too much, so we're going for a round two. Hey guys, future Jacob here. So some things did change in these attempts despite their failure. Viewers suggested that I strain my egg mixture. Uh, viewers' suggestions were accepted. I don't know that it made any difference. It did reduce the foam on the egg, and the egg was delicious, so there's that. And I also decided to rework my pan flipping technique a little bit. So here is past Jacob to explain the nuance of that setup in summary was that it'll work better if instead of me bumping this pan down and then letting it rise back up of its own accord I want to rise the pan and kind of chop at it at the same time and the pan suddenly stops and that's what's gonna launch the egg okay here's future Jacob again uh, this is the first attempt so pour the egg in kick it around a little bit in the pan one of the things that I've noticed from my earlier omelet attempts is that I will stir it around it's still uh, quite liquidy, which is fine, but I start to let it set a little bit too soon. And so at the bottom of the omelet, there are these large curds, and it almost looks kind of wrinkled. So I've decided just to stir it around a little bit more and try to agitate it all the way through the cook. And I've slowed it down a little bit here since now it's business time. Go around the edge of the egg, just loosening it up from the sides there. And you can see it's still sticking to the pan, and this is going to come back to haunt me later in the video. But in this instance, at least, it's not too bad. And I'm tilting the pan a little bit to get the egg to roll better. And, you know, by all accounts, this is looking like one of my better attempts. And then here's where some of the trouble starts. So I start to flip it, and nothing happens. So go back in with the chopsticks, uh, skim around the edge of the egg one more time. And fortunately, at least in this instance, it lifts up. So we'll listen in to my thoughts. Oh, no. Oh, that was looking so good. Like that. It's probably cooked. Is really sad. I, I, I'm actually gonna hit a do-over. We're gonna do a do-over. I'll eat this though, don't worry. And eat it I did. I went out to the supermarket this morning to buy more eggs and decided sagely to pick up some tortillas. I got some jalapenos, some cilantro, some red onion. So I got all that popping off in a great breakfast burrito. Uh, it really improved the omelet experience. For whatever reason, I'm the type of person that can't really eat the same breakfast multiple days in a row. I just really fatigue on it. So great, great to have more friends in my apartment uh, to feed eggs to, but in the short term, it's just terrific to be able to stick all of my failure into a microwave tortilla shell. So you can see that this attempt is turning out mostly the same as the last, at least up to this point. Flicking the egg around with the chopsticks, it's looking good, small curds. Uh, you can see it's still sticking quite a lot to the pan, and I think this at least in this instance, kind of comes on to me because I should have just rinsed the pan off and cleaned it with soap and done all that, but instead I just wiped it out with a paper towel and then tossed more oil in. And I think some of the burnt egg mixture just stuck around and ruined the nonstick. And you can see here, it actually looks okay, but it just won't flip. And so I just keep on knocking at it and it's not flipping. And I think all of those impacts, rather than turn it into this nice tight omelet, ended up just flattening it out like a quesadilla and it just became impossible to flip. So really kind of total failure on two accounts today, but I'll be back at it again tomorrow. And perhaps someday soon, I'll have a new nonstick pan and that could really change up the game if the technique is there. So see you guys in the morning.